Okay, welcome to the 11th video in Indie Resources How to Make a Browser Based Dim Org. Uh, I wanted, there's a, another, a couple more things that I want to clean up first before we get into to actually adding new things, and this, that's what this video is going to be about. If you notice here, I, I've added a hit point bar and a spell point bar that those go down as you use your points, and even though we're not using spell points now, we will in either the next video or the one after that. And also, you notice I made a little bar uh, little section here that shows all our stats and if we go to say use item those stats always stay there that way they're on the same page and and even if, when we go into our main index page you'll see that they're still there uh, the other thing I did was if we go to battle uh, this was brought up on the forums about hey somebody could go in there and cheat or every time you hit refresh it brings up a new creature well there's a simple way to fix it and I went ahead and did it uh, and if you notice right here it's saying I have a goblin if I hit refresh I uh, still got the goblin and still got the goblin so it's there's an easy fix and we're gonna go into it now but first we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I did the uh, the bars and to kinda show you if you notice my hit points is about midway I'm gonna see if I can't get hit uh, I killed them Let's, uh, now you notice I kill him the work now pops up a new one because he was killed but um, you missed. Come on, I have to. Let's let's do this the easy way. Let's go into players. Let's edit, and we'll change the hit points from five to to seven, just to just to show you how they go up. And then we'll change our spell points too, and uh, and it'll actually change across that bar right there. <coughs> let's see, spell points. Let's bring it down to two, and our hit points. Let's bring it up to seven. So you should see that happen over here after we actually refresh and see how it brought it up and those went down and I just left a red background on the back just so you can kinda see where your points are at but uh, to get started the first thing we want to do is open up our style.css and I've added a, a couple new div tags and actually we will start with index first and we'll, 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 we'll start there what I've done is, is I I put a include once stat panel .php and, I, and I put it right under player info 3 the stat panel .php is actually that whole panel right there and that way all I have to do on every page is put in an include but you have to make sure to put the include below the query for the player info since we're using player info uh, data it needs to know that data let me go ahead and delete this out of here since we're not going to use it uh, div ID is, is uh, L panel which, which kind of stands for left panel and under our style dot which kinda let me go back here the left panel is just a block that, that's about that big that, that that's where all this sits in and that way it's the same on every single page whoops um, and then I basically just did a PHP where I echoed the, the player name and then the attack and the defense and then the uh, the words hit points and spell points which you can kinda see right here hit points spell points and then I did another div ID which hit points back and all that ID is this little box right here this red box it just it, the, the graphic is just a red box um, and then I placed it let's go to our where's, where's my there it is style.css and if we look at the hit points back it's left 10 top 184 and then the hit points div tag is the same because the hit points div tag is actually go back to my stat panel is actually the graphic for the little green bar and then the spell points is blue and what I did was is I made a variable and called it width it's the player info player info 3 hit points divided by the max hit points times 100 and that little formula will give you how many hit points you have comparative of of the hundred uh, the hundred pixels because I made my width or, or my my actual size 15 by 100 pixels and that, that that will actually turn it into a proper number to where you can see if you know if you only if you only have three hit points out of six it's gonna be 50 percent and that's what that'll do it'll put the bar halfway um, and then I echoed out the actual hit points dot PNG and then I made the width this actual width and then the height just 15 and I did the same thing with spell points I mean I put the spell points back which is that same image which is the red image the um, and then the s points which will be on top of this it's the same thing the width except for I'm getting the spell points divided by the max spell points times a hundred and all this all those two graphics that are right here are are 
15 by 15 green and a 15 by 15 blue because it'll actually stretch it or shrink it wherever it needs to be with that width. <clears throat> and that's really all there was to it. Uh, as long as you put that in every single page. I did go through a bunch of pages and fix some uh, some style sheet missings and stuff like that. Instead of me going through them all, just look through them. They're real easy. I mean, I'm not adding anything extra other than putting in some, some div locations. Uh, putting in divs, one of them I called table, so everything in the middle of the page will go under table, and it'll make it real easy. Um, but if you notice under attack, I put an include once. You, every page that I want to see that, I put that include once stat panel, and that's that's really all there is to it. You can go through and add anything else you want to it. A big thing I just wanted to show you how to make these little bars right here. They're real, real simple, and you can kind of go through my code and see how it's done. <coughs> and the big thing is your style.css. You have your hit points back, which is the red bar, and then you have your hit points that's going to sit right on top of it, and you're going to adjust the width by that formula. Uh, the next thing I want to do is show you guys how I did the creature. Basically, whenever you go into battle, <clears throat> it's going to query. It's already querying your player, except for now I did it to where, um, let's see where we're at, right here. Instead of it pulling from the get method, it's going to pull the creature from your, uh, from your actual player. And what I did is if you go to the database, under players I added a new uh, field called creature and it's the creature ID and under battle <clears throat> if creature and make the default on that field zero that way when if there's nothing there it's automatically zero if creature does not equal zero that means if there's uh, if there's an, a creature there then get the creature where ID equals the creature uh, else pull a new creature but then notice here I put in an update player query that says update player set creature equals and then the creature ID which is the creature ID so basically if you don't have a creature if you haven't fought one then create a new one and make sure to update the player info to say that you've now got one if you do have a creature then pull that creature information simple as that and the only other change is an attack after you kill one you want it to go back to zero um, also when you pull a new one up you're gonna get that creature information if the creature does not equal zero it means if there is a creature there pull it else no creature selected and then at the end in our update player I did right here update player say experience equals total experience that was already there but then I added creature equals zero that way it sets that number back to zero so it can pull a new one uh, that's pretty much it real simple stuff anybody has any questions just ask on the forums if you want me to go into more detail go ahead and ask but I think you guys can figure this out it's a neat little way you can do this but real real simple and uh, I know I've been slow on the videos but I'm gonna start getting a couple more going uh, next we are going to start working on magic and, and get that out there and put trainers in. So.